Information Security Standards and Specifications. So this is our forward. So in the process of information security systems constructions, enterprises comply with international standards and specifications to develop their own information security specifications and improve operation. While this topic actually describes and analyze several international information security standards to help better understand information security. So in overall, basic idea is that um, information security is important to ensure the business continuity as well as to uh, minimize business damage by preventing and minimizing the impact of security incidents. From this topic, we should be able to see the common information security standards, the importance of uh, the standards, as well as the uh, main point of uh, common security standards. The topic itself is split into four parts, where part one, we have information security standards and specifications, followed by the ISO 27001 RSMS, then continue with graded protections of information security from China, and finally, the other standards. Let's see the first part. So we talk about the uh, importance of information security standards. Why do we actually need the uh, information security standards? So when we talk about this, especially in current era, in the age of electronic commerce, the information held by a company will actually affect our business partner. And for this reason, it's become critical that our business partner will demand an acceptable level of information security from one another. So information security management standard should actually play an important role for this issue. Now, we are going to see the information security standard organizations that's available nowadays. Example, ISO, the International Organization for Standardizations, which is an international standard body that composed of representatives from uh, various national standards organizations. This ISO promotes worldwide proprietary, industrial as well as commercial standards. Next, we have IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, which is an international standard organization that helps to prepare and publishes international standards for all electrical, electronic, and related technologies, where we call it as electrotechnical. Apart from that, we also have the uh, security standards organizations coming out from China. Example of organization that we have over here, including China Information Security Standardizations of Technical Committee, as well as the uh, Cyber and Information Security Technical Committee of CCSA, China Communication Standard Association. Now, CCSA is a non-profit legal person organization. This is established by the enterprises and the institute in China to carry out the standardization activity in the field of ICT in China. And we also have some other uh, famous standard organizations, example like ITU, the International Telecommunications Union, which is a specialized agency under the United Nations, which is responsible for issues that concern with information and communication technology. And finally, uh, we also have IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, an open organization which develops and promotes voluntary internet standards. So what you can see over here are some of the common information security standards and specifications. We are going to see uh, this later on. Okay, let's go into the ISO. Uh, 27,001. 
ISMS. Now, ISMS stands for the Information Security Management System. This is a set of uh, policy as well as the standard procedure for an enterprise to systematically to manage an organization's sensitive information. The objective of ISMS is to minimize risk and to ensure business continuity by proactively limiting the impact of a security breach. So what you can see over here is basically the uh, ideology of ISMS where you have plan, do, check, and actions. Next, what you can see is actually the uh, family of standard under the ISO 27000. The ISO 27000, we actually have two of them, which is the most important. The ISO 27001 and ISO 27002, where ISO IEC 27001 is actually best known standard in the family, which provides the requirement for an information security management system. This 27002 is actually a supplement to the 20,071, which provides the guideline for the organizational information security standards, as well as information security management practices, which include but not limited to selections, implementations, as well as the management of control that going to be taken into considerations by the organizations. Now what you see over here is the um, evolution of ISO 27001. As we can see over here, the ISO 27001 is actually begin with the BS 7799-2. So basically, this is a code of practice for information security management, which was developed by the uh, United Kingdom in the year 1992. And this particular document is actually uh, amended and published as the British Standards Institute, where you can see BSI or BS7799. And this particular British Standards uh, published in actually year 1999 and include uh, a lot of enhancement to the information uh, security and in the year 2000, the BS7799 become a fast track ISO standard and then evolved becoming the uh, ISO uh, 17799. Then in the year 2005, basically ISO 27001 is published, which replacing the uh, British standards 7799-2. This is the specifications for an ISMS which aligns with the ISO 17,799 as well as compatible with the ISO 9001 and ISO 14001. So the 27002 becoming a code of practice for information security control which supporting the 27001. So let's see the uh, in detail for this ISO 27000. So basically, you can see that this is uh, evolution history on how actually from the British standards, the 7799 becoming ISO 27001, and which established the ISMS. And then we have the 27002, which proposes 35 control objective and 113 control across 14 different categories. And this has now became the best practices for an organization to follow.
So what you can see over here is the uh, 14 control area in the ISO 27002 that mentioned earlier. According to our ISMS, we actually have the plan to check at where this plan to check at series of process could be implemented in our project as part of the methodology as well as the procedure. Now you can see over here that example planning stage. We basically has the project initiations as well as the variance analysis, followed by the risk assessment and followed by the system design and release. So in this stage one, two and three, basically it involves the methodology that has to be done under plan. Well, when we proceed into step four, system operation and monitoring, here will involve the do and check operations, where usually it involves to the uh, test run of the ISMS system that has been designed early on, and the monitoring of the system, as well as the uh, business continuity management training. Well, for the last step, it basically is more to audit things by the uh, ISMS, regardless it's internal or external, which certifications and continuous improvement will be our last actions in the stage. Next, let's see the graded protections of information security. So, greater protection of information security is basically referred to the uh, information security standards in China. You can actually see over here that in uh, different departments, they actually have different uh, definition on how actually to manage their ISMS. So firstly, we have the national regulations and requirement where uh, according to General Office of the CPC Central Committee Opinion for Strengthening Information Security Austria's work, some of the key content is that the information of the uh, graded protection of information security should be actually implemented. Followed by the supervision of the uh, public security department, where they emphasize on the uh, public security sectors as well as the state secrecy departments, followed by the um, administrations of the state cryptography departments. Finally, this particular greater protection of information also be used by the uh, headquarters as well as the industry. Example, the um, public communication network of telecoms as well as the uh, multimedia broadcast firm TV industry as well as the uh, important information system for the production, scheduling, management, financial, as well as the um, other industry. So what is the significance or importance of this particular graded protections? Firstly, it helps to improve the protection and resource allocations. It ensures helping to uh, make sure the information security uh, will be much more uh, protected. And with that, the uh, resource allocation will be optimized. Then next is followed by the law and regulations compliance, where it stated that any sort of internal security management system and operating rules will determine a person which is responsible for cyber security. So adoptions of a technology, which is to prevent computer viruses of any sort of threat attack, is important to ensure the network operators. So what you can see over here is the background and development of the ES greater protections. So given the rapid growth of the IT industry, the reliance on technology is ever increasing. So in China, cybersecurity has received a greater attention and has been elevated to the level of national security. So with that, the development is very important. So 
we will actually see the timeline of the uh, initial stage of Chinese government. Then up to the next, where they actually have the development stage, a lot of protections related standards are formulated. Then finally, in current stage, they start to do a grading, assessment, audits, as well as to all uh, sectors units. So what you can see over here is actually the scope that will be pulled under the uh, grading protections of information security. First of all, the protected object involved big data, information system, which is computer, as well as the basic information networks. And among those, the most important information system, we will also see that the details such as the industrial control system, IoT, Internet of Things, the cloud computing platform, as well as information system, which use mobile internet technologies, will also be part of the grading protections. The grades of the uh, protections are as follow. So the table over here shows the grade from grade 1 until grade 5 where grade 1 usually referring to the destructions of the information system that usually will cause the damage to the legitimate rights and interests of citizens as well as persons. And grade 2 will actually cause a server damage much more critical in the uh, in citizen and legal persons and a damage level on the social order and public interest. For the grade 3 and grade 4, you can see that the difference over here, it will cause server damage to the social order and public interest, and a normal damage to national security, server damage on a level 4. And finally, grade 5 will pose a server damage to national security. So according to this grading system, we shall actually identify uh, the impact of particular information security if let's say they are exposed or exploited by any uh, malicious party. So what we can see over here are some of the basic technical requirements for the grading system. So there are five aspects to be covered. Uh, starting from the physical security, application security, data security, network, and host. And among those, network security will cover 7 control points and 33 items. That's what you can see right now. And when we talk about the process of uh, performing the created protections, so the process is as follows. Firstly, we're going to uh, perform a grading, where this is the first step of grading protections. Next, we will do filling, where this is a mandatory procedure or steps to perform the uh, graded protections deployment. Then we go into the assessments, where it is a way for us to identify the status of our security protections. And rectification will be needed if, let's say, the greater protections provided is not enough. Finally, supervision is also required for the external management of greater protections. So this is for us to monitors the status of our uh, production system that we have deployed. So the last content under the topic will be the other standards. So the other standards, apart from China, they're using the uh, greater protection. In United States, they also has another standard, which called TCSEC, or in other words, Trusted Computer System Evaluations Criteria. So, this 
Trusted Computer System Evaluation Criteria, or TCSEC, is a United States government department of defense standards, which usually sets the basic requirement to assess the effectiveness of computer security, as well as the uh, deployment of the uh, security system that builds into computer. So what you can see over here is that they also have their own grading system mentioned in the uh, following table. You have a grade A, B, C, and D, which tell you the level of the uh, security system. Next, we have the IT SEC, the Information Technology Security Evaluation Criteria, which is actually a set of criteria that is used to evaluate computer security that involve with products as well as system. It was actually uh, published in year 1990 in France, Germany, Netherlands, and United Kingdom. This particular IT SEC is largely replaced by common material, which is used nowadays. Next, we see the Sabine's Oxley Egg. So Sabine Oxley Egg is actually an egg that will protect investor by improving the accuracy and reliability of corporate disclosure make pursuance to the securities law as well as for other purposes. Okay, so finally we're reaching the last part of the topics. So we have some small quiz over here. First question. Which of the following are internationally known information security standards organizations? So basically, we have A, ISO, B, IEC, C, ITU, and D, IETF. So the answer is A and B. Question 2. The ISMS complies with process. So there are four processes that comply under the ISMS, which are plan, do, check, and act. So in summary, we actually already seen the importance of information security standards and how actually it will affect the business continuity. And we also already see the evolution history of some of the importance of uh, the most popular information security management system that we have nowadays. So that is pretty much for the topics.